Hey, there you are. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back. It's uh, Grown with RJ. All right, guys. I'm going to teach you guys uh, step by step on how to uh, lower your pH naturally with uh, good old lemons, y'all. Yeah, it's really good for your cannabis plants. Um, any plants, in fact. Uh, if you want to lower the pH, it's a nat nice natural way to do it. Um, so using chemicals and whatnot. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. All right, guys. So I got my bucket of water here just tap water okay it's been sitting for 24 hours i warmed it up with a heating pad up to 23 degrees that's what it's sitting at right now y'all are probably wondering what all those floaties are but anyways it's uh pieces of this okay so i'm gonna get after things here okay so turn the ph meter on we're gonna check our water And if you swirl your pH meter in your water, it will give you a more consistent reading and a faster consistent reading. Just little circles like that. My tap water is usually around 8. pH of 8. I guess it's a little bit lower today. Okay, 7.8. All right. Okay, so first number is 7.8. And turn that off. Set her down. Take this lemon, and I'm going to cut her in half, and I'm going to add it. This is really tricky to do with no tripod, so I'm just going to go like this. Put the knife in and just basically twist the lemon. So I'm bringing my uh, pH in my water down to uh, 6.3 is the magical number, but, okay, and I just washed my hands, so no contamination, or cross-contamination, I should say. Okay, so I just put that in there, the lemon juice. Now, my stir stick is in my other room. I'm sorry, excuse me for one moment. I shall be back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Had to get the stir stick. Always throw your water after you uh, put in your pH down. So you get a consistent reading. I usually, uh, after I add my lemon, I'll stir it up really, really, really good. And then I'll let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'll just give it one more stir. And then I'll check it again. So we're gonna mix her up really good, really good. Okay, that should be good. All right, okay, pH meter. Back on, let's see what we get. Okay, it's lowering. It's down to seven now. Seven point nine. Seven point eight. Six point seven five. So six point seven. Okay. Six point seven. So I gotta drop this um, five more. By five more. You can get the lemon in there and just give her a good rub. Any of that floaty stuff, you can either strain it out or just put it in your straight into the soil, whatever. It's 
uh, anyone in hydro or anything, you guys have filters and stuff that catches all that crap anyway, so. Alright. This is what I do. Okay. So, I'm going to give that one more stir. And we're going to check it again. And I'm aiming for a pH of 6.3. And my water temperature is at exactly 23 degrees for max absorption of my nutrients, which I'm going to be adding in a second, which I'm running the Flora, the General Hydroponics line. Um, I used to go with Root Farm, but um, I've had some problems with it, so I just kind of stepped away from the Root Farm. Um, I've got some Epsom salts here for my magnesium sulfate, um, just as an additive as I need it. Uh, this Calmax is amazing. Um, you can actually get uh, the this four set on Amazon as a package. Usually you don't get this one. Usually you only get these three, and it's like a hundred bucks. But they had a deal on with the Calmag included for like an extra ten bucks or something. So I snapped it up. Uh, so far the you know plant structure has been amazing. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll we're gonna see what it does in flower. Um, so anyways, this is my mixture for this. We're going to check the pH again. See what we brought her down to. Almost there. Boom! There's my number. 6.3. 6.2 is deadly. Perfect. Okay. Now, I uh, just to show you guys, I'm going to turn on my handy dandy little TDS meter and we're going to get the water temperature. Okay, so I want this to be around 23 degrees. It's perfect for the master max absorption of nutrients and look at that you guys, it's exact. Look at that for numbers. So, and um, okay, my TDS is only at 155. Reasons being I haven't had added nutrients yet. I'm gonna put this meter back in here in a minute after I mix in the nutrients. And it should be sitting at exactly around anywhere between 800 and 1000 TDS. I want it around 900, so that's what I'm gonna aim for. So we're going to go with the, uh, the floor micro and we're going to add, after we shake it up good, we're going to add four of these one tablespoon, I'm going to add four of them. You got to really, really shake this up, stuff up really good, you guys. This all sits in. Give it a nice aggressive shake. All right. So, here we go. One, oh, two, two and a half, three, four. And I would advise not to dip this into here. I got some fresh clean water here for that. Cap on, give her a stir. You every time eat in between each uh, nutrients that you add to your water, you want to stir it up and make sure that those micros are all throughout your water. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna add our flora grill. Okay, and with this one. I'm only going to add three of the one tablespoons, okay? Three and a half actually we'll go with. So again, shake it up good. Okay, 
that's added. Sorry about that, just had an incoming call. So now we're going to stir in our uh, micro grow. Get her mixed up good there. Alright. Now we're going to add in our blue and floor blue. Okay. Cheek. I'm really sorry about the camera thing guys I am going to purchase a good camera and a stand and whatnot but times are tight and this is what I got for now so just bear with me please things will get better one two mm -hmm. 